and welcome to another episode of Fleet Tech That Works. This series is produced in partnership between Automotive Fleet and GPS Insight. Today we're posing the question, are smart cameras really smart? You're going to hear terms like AI and machine learning as they relate to smart cameras. What we set out to do was find out how smart they are and if they are all created equal. What we found is that there are two types of smart cameras. There are smart cameras, such as AI dash cams, and then there are real smart cameras. The real smart camera that we will look at in today's episode is the DriverEye smart camera. One of the reasons we're focusing on DriverEye is that Amazon recently invested in their solution and rolled it out to their entire last mile fleet. To illustrate the differences between the two types of cameras, we're going to walk through three different common driving scenarios. Let's take a look at scenario one. In this example, a driver quickly or harshly brakes at a red light. This scenario is what's known as an inertia or g-force based event. An inertia event, like harsh braking, accelerating, or turning, tells the camera something has happened that needs review. Both cameras detect the hard braking event and provide additional information on what happened, but they do this in very different ways. On the left, the traditional smart camera detects the hard braking event, which triggers the camera to record 15 to 20 seconds before and after the event. The camera sends that data to the cloud, which is then analyzed by AI or human review. Once reviewed, an alert and video are created and are available for review by the end user. Due to this lengthy process, the alert isn't usually available until a few hours after the event occurs, and in some cases, up to 24 to 36 hours later. On the right, the true smart camera, DriverEye, also detects the hard braking event. However, instead of sending the event to the cloud for further review, it uses AI and edge processing to analyze the event in real time on the camera. So what's the difference? DriverEye detects the hard braking event, analyzes and makes it available to the end user as an alert within minutes. Scenario two highlights a significant difference in the smart camera battle, vision versus inertia. It also re-emphasizes the power and importance of edge processing and the capability of real-time coaching to the driver. The real smart camera uses computer vision, which analyzes every minute of drive time and, unlike the other smart camera, doesn't rely on G-force events to detect something unsafe. In this example, a driver blows through a stop sign without braking and does not get into an accident. On the left, the smart camera doesn't detect the missed stop sign because there wasn't a braking or G-force event that told the camera something happened. It misses the event entirely, and the driver may not even know he ran a stop sign. This occurrence isn't good for the company and definitely is not a safe situation for the driver. On the right, the real smart camera, DriverEye, uses computer vision to see and detect the stop sign in real time. The AI understands the vehicle should come to a stop and when that doesn't happen, it creates an alert that's available within minutes. No stop detected. But what makes DriverEye even more powerful is that it provides the option to coach the driver. Using edge processing, DriverEye can alert the driver to the missed stop sign in real time. The driver is immediately aware of the mistake, the company has information on the event and what happened, and the situation can be avoided in the future. DriverEye's ability to see and read also extends to things like traffic lights and other types of street signs. This capability leads to awareness of other non-inertial based risky behaviors like yellow light running or speeding in temporary construction zones. Scenario three focuses on one of the most unique differences between the smart camera and our real smart camera DriverEye, the ability to recognize, score, and document safe driving. In this example, a driver is safely driving for let's say 20 minutes. They don't speed, they come to complete stops, they maintain a safe following distance and aren't distracted or unsafe in any way. No unsafe events occur during this entire 20 minute span. The smart camera is waiting for a braking or G-force event to occur during this time. Because that doesn't happen, it doesn't document or capture any information about the 20 minutes of drive time. On the contrary, our truly smart camera analyzed every minute of drive time and appropriately recognized the driving behavior. It documents and scores the driver with 20 minutes of incident-free, safe driving, otherwise known as a green minute. 
Driver scores are positively impacted by what's called driver star events, such as creating space for vehicles on the shoulder, creating separation between the car in front of them by slowing down, as well as completing a stop sign streak of 75 stops in a row. This also gives managers visibility into who their best drivers are. So, are smart cameras really smart? The answer is a personal favorite, yes and no. As you've seen, there are two different types of smart cameras, the smart camera and the real smart camera played by DriverEye, and there are significant differences between the two. DriverEye and the real smart camera tell the entire story. It gives incredibly vital context to every situation and the ability to analyze and recognize unsafe driving behaviors even when they don't lead to an incident. So suppose you're interested in implementing this technology for your fleet. In that case, we strongly encourage you to follow the links below to learn more about the real smart camera, DriverEye, which is offered in the GPS Insight Video Telematics solution. That's it for this episode. Be sure to follow and connect with us on social media and subscribe to our YouTube channels so you don't miss future episodes of Fleet Tech That Works.